Follow Donker Blog or log on to www.donkerblog.com for your lifestyle and inspiring stories and interviews. Subscribe Donker Blog on YouTube. Welcome to Inspirational Chats, Sarah. Thank you. Okay. Now, um, before we start our conversation, mm. Happy New Year. Thank you. Yeah. Many happy returns, yeah. Okay. Now, um, have you been following this Guinness World Record trend on social media? Mm, well, I followed the uh, FOS. Um, FOS? Yeah, yes, okay. Yeah. How, how do you see? No, I think it's a good attempt um, for such an initiative. I mean, I think Guinness uh, Records has been in existence for some time. And they, they could have a lot of challenge for people to engage on their mind, determination, okay. Release um, um, strength and ability and all that. So I think it's it's, it's a great thing. It's a great thing. It's okay. a great thing. I mean, I, I I love the the energy you know for you know exhibited during okay. you know her competition you know and this has sparked a lot of people to also Now there's a lady for. also um, hosting another one, um, Kokaton. Yes. Have you yes. been following? Well, I haven't done much following, you know. I just saw a bit of it in on TV and then online, you know. But I, as I said, these are great. I mean, from a media perspective, mm. um, I realize a lot of media houses are thrown their airtime to it and yeah. use that our space. We don't have content, yeah. you know. And so this is one of the things that we need to look into: create content that will engage audience you know so if for instance if we hadn't taken up that initiative you know what would the other channels be doing during the holidays mm. you know so she actually brought a lot of excitement into our festive season yes. um including mm. media channels yeah yes. you know so i think it's a very great initiative but i mean most people are now contesting should be more creative in their approaches yeah okay. i've seen a couple of them coming up mm. oh, yeah in, now is there any record you would like to personally break in near future um i i mean from my practice i'm a i'm a media media business uh practitioner and i want to see more viable businesses media businesses you know uh, beyond our generation okay. um that we have a lot of young people who are venturing into media they must see viability of what the media you know stands for and they want to put their profession on the line you know so for me um in my quest i'm trying to do everything to create a media sustainability um, um, um environment for anybody who has studied media and one day want to work in a radio station tv online platform you know, we'll see that viability. It's it's my hard desire. I don't know why I'm so passionate about. So that's the record you like to. Make. I mean, if I could, if in my old age, if if my initiatives will help about fifty plus media yeah, houses to be more sustainable, I, I'm more than excited oh, yes. excited about it. Yeah, and I won't, I won't call it a breaking record because oh. I'm not in competition with every, oh, anyone. Oh, yeah, you know, but uh, because of my passion for media. Oh, yeah. I want if there's anything I can do to to help media, it's is a sustainability conversation. It's what will challenge us to do things differently. And when you look at the advanced market, you know, I mean you are so excited about how they are practicing media. You know, and you yearn that you want to work in that industry. Yeah. The same way back home. People should people have we've I've seen people have actually studied media and they don't want to practice it. Yeah, true. You know. Because well, they don't see a future in it, mm. and because those of us who are practicing it or who are professionals are not creating that enablement, you know, for people to see that yeah, I mean, if you go to school and you study media communication or journalism, you must see yourself as a professional in this industry. But some go to school study communication or media media um, related courses, mm. but later on they tend to become a lawyer, they tend to become a doctor, they tend yeah. to become an other professional, but not the media aspect. Yeah, I mean it's, it's knowledge. Some people see it as, as knowledge. Yeah. They want to build knowledge in that, um, you know, industry or they want to have that knowledge to acquire. Some people take it as a knowledge acquisition, you know. Um, so 
somebody who has studied media communication and now enrolling at a law a law uh, school mm. will also want to add up to their knowledge and understand the law that governs the media the media and that governs our practice even that governs our, our nation you know so we have a lot of media uh, practitioners who are going into law to just understand it and be better at what we do i mean what we do there's a lot of law you know um i mean our constitution you must virtually understand the law that governs our you know our nation um the practices of what we do as people so i mean i am excited to see i think this year we last year we saw a lot of you know media journalists you know who went to the law school and yeah. graduated i was really happy for them you know yeah so it's great to add up knowledge and be better in whatever field you practice yeah so great now, who is um, Raymond Smith? Well, I mean, <laughs> this question, um, I, I would say uh, Raymond Smith, it's, um, it's a very passionate individual, mm -hmm. you know, um, who, it's, it's, I'm, I'm a very down-to-earth person, but anything that my hands find doing, I believe that in the grave, there's no opportunity to do that. So anything that I find my hands doing, I do it all my best. Mm -hmm. And so one, I'm passionate, I'm very determined about work, uh, very professional in my, my dealings. And so anybody that I come into contact with, I want to display professionalism. Um, I'm a very centered believer. I, I believe in God, I believe in- yeah. What do you teach? I have a fellowship with Empowerment Worship Center. Empowerment. Yeah, Worship uh, Center. Worship Center. Yeah, oh, and okay. Prophet Gideon Danson is a global lead pastor. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. So I'm a, I'm a firm believer. I believe that everything that encompasses our life, it's it's God. You know, in Him we move and have our being. And so my whole being, I believe that even my existence, it's God. Yeah, and so uh, I place God first in everything that I believe. Oh. Yeah, and I, I want to make sure that the God factor, uh, since day one, has always played a card for me. So there's no way I'll venture into any other thing that I will not bring the God factor in. And so the summary of my life is that I'm a very passionate, mm. um, determined. Uh, I like groundbreaking ventures. You know, anything that will challenge my mind and challenge my strength as a person, I'm ready for it. And so if you say who is Ramon Smith, I think I've said a lot. You've said a lot. <laughs> no, but I mean, <laughs> um, this is basically who who I am. Um, I mean, I have different phases of life. I've had different experiences of growing up. You know, um, I mean, I would say that I shouldn't even be here. You know, but by God's grace and uh, determination, and you know, the right network, the right people, we are where we are because we we realize that we have something to offer our world. And so no matter the challenges that we face, we must count it all joy to be part of what life offers. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. you founded Afrima's Network. Yeah. What is Afrima Network and what motivated you to establish that network? So, um, I mean, on this basis, I'll say a big thank you to Joy FM and uh, Multimedia Group. So I had my early days of media sales practice with uh, how long have you been in the media space well I've, I've, I've been in this game for over 15 years plus 50 years 15 years 15 plus. years 15 years yeah, yeah. i'm so young 15 years, 15 years yeah. <laughs> so um well I, I i will say that before even joy fm a company that was founded by mrs christian michaels okay uh, springboard communication mm -hmm. and so and uh, they gave us a role to be, be part of their marketing team. So I set that as a marketing executive. But where my media love, you know, grew were uh, the days of Joy FM. Okay. So Joy FM actually gave me a role to to start as a, a sales rookie. And I worked within the multimedia group for ten, for eleven years. From just an entry level person, I became a sales manager. You know, in my quest in working with media institution, I realized that revenue generation was one of the biggest challenge for every media every institution. Media yes, yeah. So in, in my practice, I've always found an opportunity to interact with media sales professionals to see how best 
we can share knowledge and help each other in in growing our profession and also the stations that we work with we we can also help them generate revenue and so somewhere um 2018 I initiated what we call the Africa Media Sales Development. Mm. Yeah, it's just was to build capacity for well, the sales, sales team. teams of media houses. Um, we did it a couple of times and we started getting feedback from the people who gave them the training. And so I realized that well, there's something that we must scale it up. So somewhere 2019, we launched the Africa Media Advertising Sales Summit, where we brought about 100 sales professionals basically to look at the future of media sales mm. you know whether the profession that we find ourselves in is the right thing that we want to do as individuals or it was just an opportunity we got you know but we must assess ourselves and build a career in it so um 2019 we launched you know the african media advertising sales summit uh, which is the afrimas as an industry-led initiative to build capacity foster collaboration within the media advertising industry um, the Afrimas network is the registered company that organizes the african media advertising so when did you register your the network so 2019 we registered a network so yes, the yeah. company came 2018 yes and was registered 20 yes 19. yes yeah okay. yeah so this year marks uh, exactly six years six well, years. since we started i mean last year we celebrated our fifth edition now the whole idea is to empower media business you know to bring understanding to what we do as media practitioners because i mean media is business you know and to run a media entity is not a joke yeah you know so what we're trying to do with the various network professionals that we put together our objective is to build capacity you know we believe that knowledge can make a difference so when people are running media institutions they have the right knowledge We'll be able to transform the way we run media business across Africa, you know, starting from the home Ghana. So we've had a lot of initiatives of building capacities, doing um, um, customized based trainings and also organizing industry summits um, what we had over the years, you know, with Afrimats, you know, so, so how, that's many, the journey. how many teams are, are in your network now? Now, the, network. The, the, the high idea is that we work with professionals and okay. so i mean um, even some of our speakers uh professionals that when we have any requests from any media or any business that we are consulting for we bring them on board to work with us you know so okay. it's it's an open network you know there, there are no restrictions to it oh, okay so anybody yeah. can come yes in. yes yeah perfect i mean if 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 you work within you know the media industry definitely your your professionals are your or your profession is required in a, in a particular service so when we when we know that you are available for that we we engage you know uh -huh. so we've engaged a couple behind the scenes we engage a couple of people to provide services you know i remember somebody wanted to establish a radio station and i, I, I was i was informed and you know, so the processes we got a couple of people to just handle it within our network you know, okay. so basically that's what we're doing you know yeah to foster growth and foster collaboration for the industry yeah okay mm. so um every year you organize the africa um media, media sales yes. summit yeah what inspired you to organize um such an event as i said the i mean seeing media growth is, is one of our passion pa passionate um, um um things that we want to do i mean it, we are passionate about it, not just we're excited, but to see it work, you know. So each year we look at what is happening globally when it comes to media business and media advertising. What are the solutions for clients who want to advertise using radio, TV, online, um, any medium, you know. What must we do differently, you know. So each year we set a theme, you know, to explore. Um, and build knowledge for people who practice media mm. so that the whole idea is to build capacity for people who are into this mm -hmm. you know not necessarily you 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 going to school to acquire knowledge but some of these summits are, are built to you know help people acquire industry practice and the best approaches to do it is 
is to organize such summit, summit. You know, so do you get sponsors on, on your own? I mean, sponsorship has been quite challenging. I mean, I think it's been one of the toughest. Is it in Ghana or did it come across <laughs> the whole? No, I mean, I think it's it's um, it's where we live. <laughs> Elsewhere, I mean, uh, I've seen um, other summits and conferences of me done media nature where you've had we've had great support. You know. Um, I won't. I won't say that we haven't gotten support at all. We've we've gotten great support, but it can be better. We've gotten support from even speakers. I mean, our speakers over the years have been amazing. We've gotten venue partners um, from Multi Choice to Accra Guitar Center, um, Janet Services, Lux Live Experience. We've gotten great support, great support, but it can always be better. be better. You know. Uh-huh. So last year's one was um, the sit. The fifth edition. edition. Fifth. Yes, oh, yeah. Okay. Last year was uh, our fifth edition okay. since we started, you know, the whole engagement with Afrimax. Yeah, yeah. So how 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 has the journey been for you? Well, I I, I would say that the journey hasn't been easy. Yes, <laughs> I mean, we have a story to 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 share. Um, but the last time we spoke about the journey of Afrimax, mm. it was more of how far God has been good to us. Um, the people that God brought on our way, you know, um, we've had some great support from people, and I will never discount that we've had great support from people who have come through for us when it was just an idea, you know, and we processed the idea, it became a concept, we developed it, we put a proposal to it, we share with people, and so for us, people has always been a trump card to say that if it hadn't been this person, yeah. that person won't be where we are. So the journey has been quite very challenging, but by God's grace, we've had some good people who have come through, you know, for us. Um, I mean, we've had great people like Mr. Raila Japo, who had great people like um, um, our own um, um, chief executive, Mr. Bolawe, you know, um, he's come through for us many times where the entire EIB network has supported us, you know. Um, um, I mean, uh, with our great speakers, countless of people have been so um, um, supportive, and so for that, every day we are grateful. So, when you, you know. invite speakers to the events, yeah, do they take something from you, or they rather help you to? I mean, I think for us, that's one of the things that we are blessed with. Um, we've had our speakers who have come through. Um, not charge us a penny. Okay. And I'm telling you, they've thrown their resources. You know, last year, for instance, I had one of the speakers who said, please, any day, any time, call on us um, to support, not just to come and speak, but to support but your to support. initiative. So for us, I think one of the uh, amazing experiences that we had with Afrimas is our speakers. The kind of support like you know i don't know how to describe but like they wholeheartedly give their best mm. and they come prepared none of our speakers have come everything that they've shared on afrimas has been very impactful very transformative anybody who has come through afrimas to engage our speakers you know they they've been blown away with knowledge in anyway. when that's the kind of platform we've created over the years the speakers come were prepared to share their experiences you know i mean some of them they work within the media industry for 10 years mm-hmm. 20 years 30 mm-hmm. years mm-hmm. you know to have maybe a 45 minutes to share that experience it's an amazing, amazing you know so for us when it comes to our speakers it's been awesome 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 yeah now yeah. um in 2021 you were named as sales partner for um united states canada p how did Oh, you know? oh um, um, the Canada Pay, um, it's, a, it's an HR um, um, software application for managing, you know, um, your HR activities and all that. Well, I, 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 it was through a, a friend recommendation. Okay. And so I got a sales um, lead, you know, partnership with them to help them with sales activities in Ghana. Um, I think the role went well. I mean, I enjoyed the 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 service I provided for them. It was basically a leading and engaging the 
network that I've built over the years and how best we can introduce the software to them. And okay. so that service was quite, you know, long, yeah. I mean, we spent almost about half, one and a half year, half yes, year. yeah, you know, um, and, and I have to move on to do other stuff, you know, now. Uh, my, my, my current um, engagement is with TBN Africa now. Um, I've also been received an appointment to lead the Ghana operation. Oh, yeah. And on TBN, it's a, it's a, it's a global um, faith um, ministry. Yes. Yet, yeah. But they also have an African office in South Africa. Oh, okay. So um, the South African management engaged me through the works of um, Afrimas. Afrimas. You know, they saw the, the various capacities that we are building for people here in Ghana and across Africa. And they reach out to us to see how best we can work together and also introduce the TBN services to the Ghanaian community. Yeah. yeah. Now, what is your greatest fear in life? <laughs> wow, interesting. <laughs> you make me laugh. I haven't thought of this. Well, I mean, um, I think we all have one way or the other. We have fears. Yeah. You know. But I mean, as as a, as a as a believer, I mean, I've always been uh, assured with God's word that fear not every day, you know. But as a human being, you know, one of the things I fear is that I, I'll start something and I'll not be able to complete. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So anything that I start, I have the fear to complete it. To complete it. Yes. Yes, and and in doing that, I see great great opportunity that come my way. So anything that I'm back on, you know, I want to make sure that I complete. Okay. Yes, yeah. Are you married? Yeah, married. Yes. I'm married. Yeah, married with four kids. Yeah. Four kids. Yes, yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm married with four kids. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married with four kids. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. So um, what's the best one? Well, I, I mean, one of the things I enjoy doing, um, I, I cook a lot. So, oh, yeah. yes, yeah, I cook a lot. So, I I mean, I'm married to a caterer as well. But oh, I, I see. I, I love coming to the kitchen to cook my favorite. Um, this is jollof. I cook. Jollof. Yes, yeah, I cook my wow. favorite. I mean, uh, you, you can't take that away, away from me on Sundays. Oh, I actually I do that on Sundays a lot. Um, because when I was growing up, I, I was the one cooking for my dad. And so I, I didn't see it as um, a pain moment. I, I saw the joy of cooking food for family, mm. you know, and everybody enjoying it. And so every time I keep on reading, I keep on, and there was even a test book, you know, there was a book on book, um, cooking book. I mean, basically looking out for what best way of cooking, you know, and since then I've, I've loved, you know, going to the kitchen i mean i'm not i'm not lazy at all when it comes to cooking something to enjoy yeah that one any day any time I, I want to do it yeah so jollof is my best okay, let's come to yeah. entertainment um who is your best artist in ghana well, your favorite <laughs> i haven't really put put anybody in on the way. spotlight um my kind of music um, I'm more a band, a band, a band yeah, gospel, gospel, you know. You, you like listening to gospel. So I, I like listening to inspirational, inspirational music, music, you know. I mean, gospel is my favorite. Uh, I like listening to country music. Yeah. I like listening to a bit of jazz. Um, but even within the entire scope of entertainment in Ghana, I think that um, I like a lot of stuff that inspired I, I mean I, I don't know but that's one of me I inspiration like reggae I don't know uh, like reggae songs are even, re even reggae I mean I ha when I was growing up I was listening to Lucky Dubay because my dad used to play a lot of Lucky Dubay and, and Peter Touch and the rest but Lucky Dubay was a favorite of my, my dad so anytime I mean I hear Lucky Dubay song I will not tune off I, I will still enjoy it um but back home i mean um so somebody that i i love l listening to um i have a couple of sankodis inspirational music oh, okay. uh, there's a bit of, of brafo yes. 
you know there's a bit of um, stone boy I, I i like the the way they they take life and narrate it in uh, music well, you know well, I, I mean, not really I don't like him as a person, but I like his persona, his mm. brand nature, you know, how he revolved to become Shatawali. It's something that I always admire, his determination to be different. You know, that's something I love about Shatawali. I mean, I've always been admiring his brand nature. Like, this guy, he's always revolving, you know, to meet a certain need within the entertainment you know, um, um, angle, you know, and I think that when you look at how our musicians have, they've revolved with time, mm -hmm. I mean, everybody is really doing well. I mean, I remember the days of Sarkodie, I remember the days of Stoneboy, and each of them, you know, how they've revolved in their music. It's amazing. I think it's something that we all must study, you know, and, you know, we shouldn't just enjoy their music but they have something to teach us mm. you know their music have transcended beyond these bodies you know how do we emulate that for even business practice there's something that they are doing right you know that um uh, there was there was a video i saw on on facebook where this guy's music king promise music yeah. was being enjoyed by um some asian ladies are they Japanese or I saw it on you let them later. Yes. Um, yeah. And 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 they were so enthused with the whole energy and enjoyment. I'm telling you, these guys are doing something right that we must you know, we must pay attention to what they are doing. You know, and one way or the other, support them all. Across all the music in a, a, the music phase that we have in Ghana from whether a gospel genre to you know, Afrobeat or rap or these guys are doing amazing. And I mean, if you look at what happened in December and GH, without them, there was no entertainment. Now, comparing you know. um, Nigerian music to Ghanaian music industry, yeah, are we doing better? Ah, uh, well, I mean, I see, I see what the I, I don't do much of Nigerian music, mm -hmm. you know, but I see what the guys are also doing. Um, I think we both admire each other, mm -hmm. you know, we learn from them, they also learn from learn us. From us yeah. I remember when um, uh, Natalia Basse came to Ghana, performed and said, if we sing in English, English yeah. our songs will go international, yes. you know. Um, some people Are differ, you that? well, some people differ, um, um, but we've seen what your metal has done with yes. this music career, yeah. so there's a, there's a there's a there's a, a testament of what he said you know we've seen where other musicians collaborate and they actually use a language that is neutral for people to consume we've seen how their music has revolved you know and this can promise terminator thing that people were not singing in tree they were yeah. singing in english, english yeah. you know so some way somehow it's an advice you know um, if you're into music if you want to pick it up and run with it I think it will go it will go into your own credit and the way you want to position yourself it's, it's about the craft you know so i think for me our guys are doing well okay. they're doing well I, I don't want to really compare but they are doing so well i mean some of them when you see the international exposures that they've gotten for themselves and ghana i mean it's amazing you know yeah it's really amazing and i mean i, I enjoy both you know yeah give me your top five Ghanaian gospel artists. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, five. if you if <laughs> if you don't have five, three. Well, ah, uh, I think I love I love how Joe has you know Joe Metal Joe, Joe Metal has transitioned. Um, um Paris music mm -hmm. also music, yeah. came on the scene. I like his energy. Um, uh, who again? Um. Uh, there's a uh, there's a group there's a group there's a, a group, group. Mm. Um, better revival well um there's a group i've forgotten the group's name you know but as i mentioned to you i listen to more of our foreign 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 guys you know so I mean, I mean if you're looking at travis green okay you know um i'm looking at mcdowell um 
Israel Houghton, it's it's okay. one of my favorite. Okay. Um, Tasha is there. Tasha Cox. Tasha yeah, you know, I mean, uh, my all-time favorite, and which I'm really grateful to him and his ministry is Domoy. Oh. I mean, when I was growing up, Domoy was one of the you know people that inspires me a lot. I used to listen to his music every day. Mm. You know, I mean, Domoy, and 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 I got in touch with him when he came to Ghana. Uh, my days working at Live FM, he came for a, a studio interview, and I uh, was able to express how grateful I was, you know, listening to him in my 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 growing days. Even it, it, it built my faith as well. Domo is an amazing, you know, um, gospel. Gospel artist. Yes, yeah, you know. So, I mean, if you are looking at top five or top three, I, I, he would he would sum it all. Wow. <laughs> no, um, have you experienced looking at? Well, I mean, <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I, I did, I did, yeah, I did, I did. It was a, it was a particular lady I was. They were saying that everyone should experience working out. Well, I, I don't think so. I, I think there are some people who have really gathered their heart very well. Mm. Mm, because they don't want to play with their heart. So every time they are guarding your heart, you know, to make sure that you don't take them for granted. Uh, especially some, especially our generation. I think our generation, some of them are very yeah. careful, you know. I mean, I've interacted with a lot of young people, you know. You know that they want, they, if they, are, if they want to study, with yes, they are focused. Mm. Some of them are very focused. Focus. Some of them, too, they are everywhere, you know. I, I mean, I experienced it. There's a particular lady that I, you know. How did I, you feel? Was it painful? Was uh, it? I was disappointed. Mm. You know, I like this person. You know, unfortunately, my family didn't even like her. Mm. You know, but I was so into her. I was really going all out for her. You know, and at a point, one of my friends advised me and said, "No, this lady that you are so much in love with, she's not in love with you because mm. she sees you as a sister." And when I got that news, I got so broken. I was oh. disappointed that you know somebody that. I wish that I could settle down with the person, but the person didn't have the interest that I had. You know, we didn't share the same knowledge in terms of what we think about ourselves. And so it didn't work out for me. So she know. was the first broken heart? Yeah, I mean, yes. So, I could say that. Oh. I mean, I, I wouldn't say it was broken heart. I just moved on. Just it was, it was, I was disappointed that. But it's still broken heart. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how you want to be describe it. But I was I was a bit disappointed that you know the kind of relationship I wanted to build with her it didn't happen that way, you know. And um, I mean that's how sometimes life throws at you. Um, you 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 make something good out of it, and you you make for you you move forward. And we are still friends, you know. But it's been a long time since I heard from yeah, her. Yeah, yes, yeah, okay. you know, yeah. Yeah. Now, um, your message to the youth out there and those in the media space. Maybe I'll take it from the media. Um, I mean, our, our media industry is still growing and we have a long way to go. Um, and so if you are practicing, um, I, I, I pray that you practice with your best. You know, um, uh, we still celebrate the likes of Komna uh, Dumont, mm. you know, across the globe because even he wasn't a trained journalist, you know. But when he saw the opportunity, he decided to give all his best. You know, our industry needs the best. The excellency of producing the best news content. And even now with social media and all that, what are the content that we putting out there? We have too much gossips on our social media platforms. Yeah. We need compelling content that will engage the minds of people. And in advance market there's so much to consume you know and when you go on youtube if you really want knowledge to consume you won't consume a Ghanaian knowledge you know the things that you are consuming are all gossips yeah you know but there's so much that we can produce get people to consume within the social media platforms you know so for our for me the 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 there's so much that we can do for our media platforms you know um the 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 new 
media uh, i mean especially the blogging community mm -hmm. it's not only sensational stories mm -hmm. that sells there are great stories within our communities that people must know you know let's stand out for that you know and the likes of kobiche are doing something different we can have people do something different that will help our society be better you know so for me our media industry we need to to be more excellent in the way we produce content you know and when you produce the right content you have the right people consuming it then you can sell the audience to advertisers and that's where Afrimas is in to help a lot of business is, is it going to is there going to be an Afrimas event yes we we planning i mean that's there's something that we are we're something that we are cooking um we are looking beyond our borders and exploring south africa nigeria and kenya so we definitely will you know update our industry professionals on the sixth anniversary you know what we need to do to better uh industry as media professionals you know so there's something that we are cooking you know so we definitely will share with you and share with the rest of the world yeah you know thank you very much sir <laughs> raymond smith yes yeah thank you thank you for coming on the show thank you for having me and uh, thank you for the opportunity you are doing great you know I thank mean, you very much i like your 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 energy and your yeah. determination i mean it will it will it will work yeah. yeah i mean that's that's how that's how i mean i always say that everything that we see grown and we all enjoy started mm. with one person yeah yeah every brand every brand um it may be an idea that will sit in the person's mind he will then communicate with the next person and then they all will forge and come together and make it work and so you started something great you may not know in the next two three years four years five years to, to come you know you are going to build a media empire so just keep, hey, keep the I'm hope alive. For that. no 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 just keep hey. that keep it up and work towards it grow be, be determined to grow it yeah uh, because you want the own a medium part Amen. yes yeah so thanks for having me thank you follow donka blog or log on to www.donkablog.com for your lifestyle and inspiring stories and interviews subscribe donka blog on youtube